Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be making my predictions of how The Flash Season 9 will play out. So let's jump right into it. So let me just give you a quick read of the synopsis. The 13th episode Season 9 picks up one week later following the reverse Flash's battle and Barry Allen and Iris West Allen are reconnecting and growing closer than ever before. But when a deadly group of rogues descend on Central City, led by a powerful new threat, The Flash and his team, Caitlin Snow, Empath, Cecile Horton, Allegra Garcia, and brilliant tech leader, Chester P. Blanc, must once again defy impossible odds to save the day. But as the rogues are defeated, the deadly new adversary rises to challenge Barry Allen's heroic legacy. And in their greatest battle yet, Barry and Team Flash will be pushed to their limits in order to save Central City one last time. <laughs> now, my first prediction that I have about the season is that the rogues are going to be led by the Red Death. If we revisit the synopsis, it says that um, when a deadly group of rogues descend on Central City led by a powerful new threat, now that powerful new threat would be any an entirely different villain but the reason i think it's the red death is because on the arrowverse wiki five episode titles have been released and like the first the last two episodes is a two-part series on called the mask of the red death so i'm assuming that the roads are going to be defeated um introduced and defeated early on along with the red death prediction two is that iris is going to be pregnant this season the reason being that set photos have been released seemingly showing iris is drinking water while barry allen is drinking alcohol and he can't drink alcohol if you're pregnant so i'm assuming that iris is going to tell the rest of team flash that she is expecting and i actually second this decision if it's true because i wouldn't want it to be like the cliffhanger or something introduced towards the end because in my opinion it only makes more sense for the stakes to rise that way um so that if a new like deadly villain is introduced this season then Barry doesn't not only has himself and his city and you know the rest of Team Flash to protect, but now he has Iris and his new, you know, possibly daughter or son or twin to protect as well. Third prediction that I have is that Frost is going to be back again. Um not as Caitlin or not as Frost, but like more like K Killer Frost possibly. Um, because they said that they're going to revisit like that whole, you know, thing, that whole stick in the previous season with trying to bring back Frost, so yeah. The fourth prediction that I have is that Bloodwork may be the secondary villain in the season. It is confirmed that he is going to return, and since the season is going to have 13 episodes, it is also being split into two graphic novels, and I'm assuming that in the first graphic novel, um, The Flash is going to defeat the first major villain, and in the second, he's going to defeat the second big bad, since there will also be two big bads. And now this big bad could either be Bloodwork, or it could be an entirely different uh, antagonist wild blood work is just like a minor villain but um i think they should go with blood work because it's a little bit of a safer route and you, you no longer really have to introduce someone in like seven or six episodes and the fifth prediction that i have is that barry allen will not go back in time to save his mother i feel like the flash writers currently and eric wallace have a way of just like going the route of like love and happy endings which may make sense to like for him to save his mother but at the same time because of the fight that we got in season eight with him meditating i'm i really wouldn't be surprised if like he just defeats all the villains by love again and it's just happy ending but like without him going back in time but um, that's still a possibility after all that's about it for this video please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll see you next time peace